Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Bring It Dawn. So I did find out how to repair your jet skis. I didn't do that, but uh, you have to buy ve vehicle repair kits from... Oh boy. <laughs> from a shop. I feel like we're going to take a lot of damage here. Oh boy. Yeah, nope. You know what? We're going to have to approach this from a different direction, I think. That's not going to work. Now, is there a way north this way? If so, we can take that to get over there. Now, I do remember that they said to the north were the native lands. So maybe I shouldn't be going there yet, anyway. Yeah, let's hold off on going north, as I'm sure that our adventures will take us north. The quests. So I don't feel like that's somewhere that I need to... Yeah, no, we're gonna... We're just gonna load back here, we're gonna start going east. Know that there are north options here. All right, we're just gonna head east. No need to, to push our luck. Especially on the lesser of the jet skis that I have available. Nope, come here, you. There we go. So I'm assuming the entirety of the Black Sea is lit by that uh, bioluminescence that we saw at the beginning. Or that was described in the beginning to us. Because other than that, I don't know how I would be seeing in the uh, in these caverns right now. It's more if it didn't have that bioluminescent lighting on the ceiling, um, I probably shouldn't be able to see. That's probably gonna be a hermit crab. Well, it's cool that some of them appear in their shells, and then some appear in the, uh, like the, the crates you can pack into. And we'll go south one more time. I resisted 141 of my damage. So is that taken away from the 328 that I did? I wasn't paying attention to the actual number that popped up. Or would I have done... Plus 141 if it didn't resist that much of it. I'm assuming that it's the second one. Where I actually did like 479. Right, so I can get off on that tiny island right there. We go south here. I might as well clear that out while we're while we're here. Don't know what I would do here, but it's nice to be here. You know, get my feet wet. Have no way to dry them effectively. And, uh, get trench foot. Or varying degrees of athlete's foot. Let's 
What's up, fellas? Just uh, cruising on by. Oh, so if I wanted to come back, oh, I got an idea to make a lot of money. Loot all the corpses, drop everything there because it stays there after you, uh, they clear the beach. And I have like infinite things I can go back and try and sell. That also allows me to wait for the uh, inventory or the, the merchants to reset. It seems like the battery's lasting a little bit longer. But that might be because we're moving slower. Maybe the smaller batteries just have better... Well, no, I think it's the same size battery. So that, doesn't... that would make sense. Okay, I'm gonna quick save. This looks like pirate territory. If I had to guess. Actually, what does it say? Port Cito. This makeshift port is home to the Black Sea Pirates. Alright, so I know that we're gonna deal with the pirates later. I'm gonna just go diagonally up. And avoid the pirates for right now. Like a pirate lighthouse or watchtower. Is that another one? Alright, so right now we're neutral, the pirates. Don't mind me, guys, I'm just gonna do some exploring. And there's a pirate named Razor. Don't wanna talk to him right now? Quick save before I do. The man addresses you with the gravelly voice of deeply sinuous character. We already warned you folks, the Grim Jetters ain't fooling around. You come any closer, Benga, and your head's gonna be filled with more metal than you got in that whole, whole jet you're riding on. Tell me about the Grim Jetters. Is this Benga yanking my jet or what? You're talking to the Grim Jetters, the fiercest pirates to have ever sailed the waters of South Underru. You got anything of value, you better take the train. He chuckles. He frowns. Now, you stop fooling around fooling about and turn that jet and turn that jet the other way. I ain't kidding. Are you leading these people? That'd be Captain Grimm. I'm one of his lieutenants. I want to join okay, well. I'm not who you think I am. I see, I want to join you. You wanna join us? That's what I said. What makes you think what makes you think we'd want you? I don't want my head on a spear. That's the deal. Alright, Benga, I'll play. You know, there are two things all pirates gotta have. Two eyes. <laughs> Suck it, Claude. Pop him. Okay, he doesn't like, he doesn't like jokes. Alright, he's not a joker. Alright, I'm gonna leave him here for now. But if I want to join the, the pirates later, I can. Razor, uh, pirates, employment. 
There we go. <laughs> he doesn't like... He doesn't like jokes. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, so I'm minimizing my thing real quick to make sure I'm recording. Alright. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Let's see, if this is... B, C, D, E. Uh, we're in F right now. Where do we need to go? H and K. So we still have a ways to go. Well, that's okay. I need to do something about my weight. I can't just keep popping mushroom brew. Or I'm feeling a little heavy. So I'm of all this crap. And that. Yeah, I should probably go and sell that stuff. Or just drop it off and not worry about it. Well, this looks like there is potential to join the pirates. That's cool. But we'll see where the uh, the main quest is going, because we haven't had to deal with the pirates yet. I'm sure that we will in the future. And maybe by that point, I'll see the pirates as a more you know, lucrative opportunity. I need to jump the gun, though. I, well, I can keep working for ages and see what they, they've got going on. So again, I'm not going to go all the way north. I'm probably going to stop where I stopped north already. Because uh, I don't want to run into the natives. Okay, the Black Sea isn't as big as I thought it was going to I mean, it might be bigger still. So technically I have all the space it could be. But we're running into the other factions pretty early on. I was assuming there'd be more leeway. area seems to be a whole lot of nothing. Red rune rock. A familiar rune painted red on a flat rock. What's familiar about it? I can't see the uh, icon very well. The two points of experience up to three times. And then some clan meat. So yeah, I'm gonna call. Well, not call it here. I'm gonna say north. 
Just so I know that uh, there are options. There's no real identifiers up this way. Like the pirate camp. Alright, let's consult my uh, nav device real quick, see where I'm at. Check stored coordinates. I wonder whose frequency I'm going to manually have to input or select. See if this is seven, 6, so yeah, 7. See, I'll have to go up that far north for any of these. Uh, I'll have to go past this point for any of the current objectives. I think they've both been 7s, right? A7 and K7. too far. Let's recharge my spear. Spears. Oh, here we go. Is it labeled? Crimson Meadow Horticulture Center. A hive. Another hive. Hold on a second. Hey. Chill, chill out, guys. I'm gonna exit and then try to like loop around from the south there, so I can try and land. So I'm not trying. I want to fly on my jet ski if I can help it. Yeah, we we'll just go diagonal here. Hello. Jumping B and increases dodge and evasion by 25%, also increases movement points by 10, while not in stealth, last four turns. And speaking of plant meat, I can't think of any seafood that I do not like. Everything that I've tried, seafood wise, I've always, uh, always enjoyed. I'm gonna quick save because they're probably gonna enter combat as soon as I get here. Just gonna make it difficult to disembark. I'm assuming the hives continue to spawn. And oh, they sit in the water too. That's annoying. I wonder if Molotovs would be better. Ah, all the way over there. What do they put on me? Parasitic infestation. It lasts for 12 turns. I should probably put my shield up. Holy crap. Now what I need to do is load my autosave. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Molotovs. 
right, and put those on the uh, on the hives because it looks like they keep spawning. This might be a good way to like crowd control them. Maybe I shouldn't be here. This seems like it's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Without much gain. There's three hives. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this or not. I'm just gonna get picked apart as I run in. It seems like once they spawn, what they have, more are gonna spawn. This might be a little bit beyond me currently. Nope, more spawned. So they just gonna keep spawning each turn? Well, this is fun. And Molotovs are not as effective as I was hoping against these guys. I don't see a better way. I guess we could land over here, but it's not gonna... This hive might not aggro if I do that. Like, let's try that. Let's, um... <laughs> I know I keep loading, but... This area sucks already. Some nasty enemies. If I land in that middle section, let's actually charge my uh, shield all the way up. All right, quick save. All right, let's go. Yeah, maybe if we land in the center, that's fine. I can't activate my shield on the uh, jet ski, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to waste a grenade throw on the jet ski. I'm just taking a morphine shot in the beginning. Something takes some damage here. towards the hive. No need to do anything differently. They out there a grenade at this group. Then focus on taking out the hive here. It's gonna take a while to take down, it seems. I'm gonna... 
plugging away at it. They just keep coming. Having a real good time. Um, I wonder if Flashbang works for these guys. And if it does, we're in luck. If it doesn't, well, I don't want to do this. Well, that was an awful throw regardless, so yay for that. That was a really nasty area. I'm really not a fan. Well, yeah, there's one less I gotta deal with, even though I'm probably gonna die this turn. Well, unless he keeps attacking me like that, in which case I'm okay. I'm gonna move back and grenade these guys. You guys suck. And hope that this horde doesn't kill me. Jeez Louise. I'll lift him over there and he's still... Mm. Hey, I'm gonna die. What do you do here? Maybe hit and run? That's gonna work either. Cause you... I'm dead next turn regardless. Yeah, what do you do? <sighs> Son of a gun. Oh, that's the morphine shot wearing off. <laughs> and death. Nope, that's it, now I'm dead. Okay, I think I developed a solid strategy for taking out these darn hives. You want to destroy one, then just completely dip out. I haven't successfully done it yet. I think it would help if I started off on land, but since I have to disembark... I basically have to waste a turn gambling whether or not my grenade's going to land where I want it to land. Yeah, so my plan is I'm going to destroy this hive, try to get back to my jet ski, leave. My problem with that is that it will, um... All the locusts will be spawned from the other ones for the next next time I come here. Ha 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 ha. 
If I do it this way, my shield shouldn't even break. But I also have my grenades up when I come back, so I can probably kill more locusts at one in one go than I normally would be able to. So now I'm just gonna dip out. No need to stick around, I need to try and do anything else other than leave. That way I can get my shield back up to snuff, make sure I'm at full health, come back, take out the next one. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. See you later, nerds. Now, obviously the biggest problem to face is trying to get back on the island. If they stay grouped up like that, then, well, that's a lot of dead locusts with one grenade. for this stuff to wear off just so I'm not taking any damage. I should be regenerating health, but I'm not. Yes, yes I am. I'm just taking damage from this as well. It's negating my health regen. I really need some more batteries. Alright. Quick save, and we'll head back in. Alright, so I've decided that since all the locusts are going to spawn on that center part of the island now, I'm going to go to the uh, eastern side of the island and try and land before they kill me on the water. Because this hive is already... I might as well just take this hive out straight away while I'm on the water. And again, maybe not. <laughs> uh, if these guys can hit me past this hive and I can't shout at them, oh, that's stupid. I'm not a fan of that. Alright, but it's only on this side. Okay, it's not. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I do 30% more damage on the water, so this might be worth trying to do while I'm here. Oh, it's my turn again? So this guy is just not going to go? I shouldn't complain. Darn, I almost got it in that, in that turn. That'd have been awesome. So obviously I just take out this hive, then I dip out. Then I'll circle around and come up to the center there. Alright, then we just run. Alright, see you guys later. Do we want to go back to the center?
Where are my bandages? There they are. So is this reducing my healing? I'm not a fan of it if it is. Twenty-seven. I mean, we should be okay to uh, invade the center of the island now. There be, should be less reinforcements. One good grenade should set us up for great success. You hit me from all the way over there. You guys are the absolute worst. Why nobody likes you? I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Because those guys aren't coming back. Well, some of them aren't. crap there's a lot of them okay a lot more spawn than I thought they did girls next turn this hive should be destroyed and then I can try to dip out of here and do whatever I need to do got some ridiculous range as well. They basically covered the entire island in a move and a shoot. Or a move and an action. I had a grenade. Whew. I had a grenade off cooldown. You guys be in a lot of trouble. But I don't, so consider yourselves lucky. I'm gonna, just hail, I'm gonna hail Mary a grenade over here. I'm gonna take out most of them. You know, because like there's. Yeah, there's actually a pretty good chance of hitting them, so. We're gonna stick around. And I'm coming for you, buddy. I can't throw a spear at you, but I can, uh. Kill myself and run at you a little bit. If it's just me and you, then this this is over. Well, I wouldn't say over, I guess. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, all right. Now I'm gonna be out of uh, batteries. 
Increase the perception by two, regenerates two health. Okay. Might be worth doing something with. Some of them drop oddities, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Also makes them glow. There we go, finally found one. Flickering locust abdomen. This locust had, had a malfunctioning backside. A point of experience up to four times. Are you, you're alive? Screw you, man. Get dead. Waste of my time, you sucker. I'm a little burnt out from all those attempts at trying to clear out this darn island. This place sucks. I have to loot that from the water. Glowy larva. It must have eaten too much marsh honey. I uh, gained three points of experience, and you can only do it one time. Well, I need to do it one time. Alright, we'll check out this room and then we'll call it an episode. Before we go on to the next side of the island, which we'll probably have. If I had to guess, more... Let's get rid of some of these bolts then. All, not very good lucrative loot for 80 lockpick. Alright, it is worth going and trying to look in here because if it has another three points of experience, I only need one more oddity and I level up. Nope. Ah, well. It was worth a shot. I mean, 3 XP is always worth a shot. Alright, I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we're going to continue to the other side of the island, which is probably going to be just as miserable of an experience. But we're on land. Starting out on land is a big deal. Starting out in the water really sucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.